at this shit. Where are we? Look at this shit, we're back! Do you realize how long it's been, Pat? I do. I have no <laughs> idea what happened since the last time we played this. Um, okay, so we were collecting golden spatulas because Plankton is being, was being really stupid and he let the robots take over. But, what I remember is where we left off was my favorite level ever, and so we're about to go do that. Okay. Because, Pat, I'm not sure if you remember from your childhood... Oh, by the way, this is Nick and Pat playing this. Oh, yeah. Um, there's a place called Sand Mountain. And it is, it is literally the coolest freaking level ever. Is that when he surfs on his tongue? Yes. Okay. And you get to be Sandy, and you get to race Larry the Lobster's time. It is the coolest thing ever. Like, I'm not even joking. I'm, like, literally geeking out about this because I just really want to do this. And see, look, Squidward's here. Oh, God. And he's been using his toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> Which, honestly, it's kind of true because ignorance is bliss if you think about it. Yeah. Yes, robotic mass, okay. <laughs> I want to meet the guy who voiced Spongebob, though. Oh. What is his name? I forgot his name. Tom something. Selleck? No, not Tom <laughs> Selleck. <laughs> that would be so funny. Tom Selleck just voicing Spongebob. That'd be sweet. Maybe like Steve Buscemi or something like that. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you see, for Squidward hating Spongebob, he's given him a lot of golden spatulas. Which really doesn't make a lot of sense if you think about it. But, you know, who am I to judge Squidward on his life choices? Because he makes terrible ones. I'm just trying to imagine now Tom Selleck's, like, sexy <laughs> voice just being Spongebob. Uh, hey, Patrick. <laughs> oh my god. Well, was... you've heard, I'm not sure if we talked about this, but you heard before the, um... I remember there's a sock there. If you remember the, um... Uh, crap, what's it called? The theory about SpongeBob, or SpongeBob having like uh, the main character SpongeBob being like the what is it, like representations of like the seven deadly sins or oh, something yeah, like that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think everybody's heard that theory. It's kind of cool though. I mean, like there's SpongeBob's there's merit to it. Yeah, like it makes sense. Yeah. Oh, I love this. She got it. She got a good time because kids kept pushing her down. <laughs> no, I want to get want to get. Oh crap. Um, I'm gonna pull you over though. There you go. You need a lot of shiny objects for this level. That's what I remember. But yeah, so for the people who've been wanting this series to come back, there's a lot of people. There's actually a person, I believe. So if you see yourself in the comments, please point yourself out. I think it's like Yoshi Cookie Star or something like that. And it was just like, uh, it was like, oh sweet, I've never seen anybody do SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. And it was like, yeah, we did some of it, and then we kind of stopped for a little bit. And then, she, and then she's like, okay, as long as I know that, I, as long as I know that it's going in unfinished. I might have known some of the faster routes through this already. There you go. This literally, this is the, these are the best levels. I like. I don't. I don't care what happens for the rest of the game because I'm playing these levels. <laughs> See, look at this. This is literally like the most fun ever. It is. It looks really fun. Yeah. I mean, you know, Super Mario 64 might have had like a slide level, but this is like a whole stage dedicated to this crap. Super Mario 64, get on your game, man. <laughs> Retroactively, get on your game, dude. <laughs> Figure out your crap already. Dude, Mrs. Puff is such a crap time. Look at this. Actually, Larry's time is actually pretty hard to beat in this one. Is it really? Yeah. Uh, when I was a kid, I could never figure out how to do it, but Mrs. Puff's is already beaten. Oh, there you go. And then now, hopefully... Oh, sweet, I got some underwear. I'll be okay then. Then you have to go and you gotta defeat these things. And then Squidward will, Squidward will give you a golden spatula. So, yeah! It's such a short level, though, just because I've done this so many times. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, so, here's a question for you, Pat. Even though I'm not sure if you really have played a game like it for a long time, best 3D platformer. Ooh. It's a tough one, isn't it? Best 3D platformer. So, like, in this kind of genre. And, it, and also, you can go with other ones, like, uh, you can also go with, like, Jack and Daxter, uh, stuff like that. Spyro the Dragon. Oh, that's tough, because I haven't played many of them. Yeah. I mean, I would probably have to say Mario 64, because that's the only one I've really played, like, in depth. Really? Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, I forgot to get the box. Dang it. I forgot to get the Tupperware box. I'm trying to think. Um, I mean, yeah, that's really the only one that I've really played, like, in depth. Yeah. Um, I didn't forget to get the box. <laughs> but yeah. No, really? Yeah. Like, you never played, like, you didn't play Sunshine or anything like that? Oh, yeah, I suppose. I yeah. suppose that one's a platformer. Yeah. Yeah. Super Mario Sunshine is probably my favorite. Okay. Then. Super Mario Sunshine is a good game, but uh, I remember Mike got uh, a little mad at me. If Mike sees this, sorry, buddy, for uh, calling it an overrated game, because I was just like, because I just got so frustrated by like the eight red coins in all of them, and I was like, this is like the only mission you guys have. 
But there's oh, there's yeah. other there's other fun ones, but no. Young me was a very stubborn kid. I wish I wish they would have I, I understand why they did Super Mario Sunshine the way they did. Yeah. But I wish they would have done it like Super Mario sixty four where it was just it had all the stars in the level when you started. And you kind of get to like pick and choose what kind of mission you wanted to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, I'm with you on that. Just because... Like, like, um, if you, like, it was so dumb, because then you'd have to be like, oh, okay, well, this is the seventh shine I'm going to get on this level, so that means I have to do the eight red coins now. Yeah. Um, but, like, if you looked at Super Mario 64, all eight red coins were already in the level all the time. Yeah. So if you got the coins, it's like, oh, here's a star for you. It wasn't, like, mission-dependent on, like, what you would do. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm with you on that. I, I wish they did that, too. But, I mean, I, I can understand. Uh, yeah, again, I'm with you on that. I can understand why they made the decision to go that way. But, I mean, this is just, like, it's actually crazy that, I mean, now when we're recording this, like, the genre's making a comeback. Like, ukulele is basically trying to be, like, Banjo 3. Yeah. Instead of freaking... Banjo Kazooie nuts and bolts. Oh God! Like seriously, what were they thinking? They weren't. Good point, Pat. They were. I, they were trying to ride off the back of their title, and they're like, "Let's just do something different." And would you say Microsoft like killed Rare? Yes. In a way. Okay. Without a doubt. Okay. Cool. Well, they they put the final nail in the coffin. Yeah. Okay. I can I can see that because like um, Rare was like insane. Because Star Fox Adventures. Uh, started killing Rare. Wait, that was made by Rare? Yeah. I did was, not know that. That was the last game that Rare made before that, that it got sold over to Microsoft. I thought you loved Star Fox Temperature. Oh, I love it, but it's an awful game. <laughs> like, why is it a Star Fox game? <laughs> it's like an open world adventure thing. I remember my sister when she got that game. Because she was like, oh, sweet, it's Star Fox. I'm ready to go shoot stuff. And then she's walking around with Crystal. She's like, what the hell is this? I was literally, like, I literally was looking for, um... I was looking for my, like, game case this morning when I woke up, because I was, uh, like, I wanted to play it really bad. And yeah. I was like, why do I want to play it? It's a bad <laughs> game. But it's, like, it's a real good, nice, like, nostalgia thing. And Oh, no, I'm with you on that. It's a really fun game, but, like, again, why, like, it didn't have to be a Star Fox game. Well, it, I, I don't think it was going to have a Star Fox title for a while, but, I mean, I think it, like, switched last second. Yeah. I should probably go get that snowman. Well, but I'm not it was, going it was because time. the game was originally made by a third party, like company. Yeah. And then, oh! and then they're like, the they're side. like, um, <laughs> they're like, hey Nintendo, we made this game about a fox. You also have a <laughs> fox. And they're like, you're hired. Dude. <laughs> you're hired. So I just definitely lost that race just because of the fact that I went for the sock. <laughs> That's okay. No shame though. We're gonna kill this guy though. There you go. Oh, sweet. That hit me right back there. That's actually... Oh, my gosh. I'm almost out of underwear. <laughs> That's a weird phrase. <laughs> yeah. Good point. I don't know why I said that. Oh, my gosh. But, yeah, no, it was... Uh... That's actually weird, the, the fact that they did it like that. But you know what? Who am I to judge? Because I'm, I played very crappy games, too. And, I mean, like, if we're talking bad games and whatnot, Sonic Riders is a terrible game. Oh, There's yeah. times when I want to play Sonic Riders. Exactly. I mean, I made you guys play it, and you guys hate me for it. So, I mean, like, that's a thing. I only, I I was happy with the game once I was able to play as Shadow and just run. Yeah, because that that's actually makes more sense than Sonic that, being on a futuristic surfboard. Yeah, or whatever. <laughs> surfboard. I have to face Bubble Woody again because I was stupid. I went for the sock and I probably messed up the time because of that. That's okay. We're gonna try one more time. Beat his ass. I always, like, if we're talking about worlds, that's really easy for me to 100%. I mean, like, just get all the golden spatulas. Maybe not all the other stuff. Like, this is one of them. So is it the same, it's the same track every time, right? But they change the obstacles? I um, it. oh, there's three different ones. Sorry, I went to a different world. So, like, there's, like, three different hub worlds. And so you face Mrs. Puff, uh, Bubble Buddy, and Larry the Lobster. Spoilers, I know. But Larry's, I remember as a kid, I used to think, like, his was the hardest to beat. But, like, it's actually not that bad. Okay, so they are different tracks. Yeah, they are different tracks. There's three of them. But, I mean, Super Mario 64 had one of them. Right. And it was just a slide. Oh no! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Did you just? Oh! <laughs> Did you just like totally cheat? That was so lucky. Like that was really freaking lucky. I hope that was a shortcut. Because if not, that just looked really cool. That was really awesome. I think you just. I think you're. I think you're the SpongeBob speed speedrunner now. Dude, if only there actually have been people who speedrun this game. Because I mean, people who speedrun platformers like this is like it's always really fun to watch. So oh, yeah. But for some reason, like, I remember as a kid, 
facing Larry or trying to beat Larry was like the hardest thing ever. But then like now, when it comes down to like uh, beating cer certain people's times, like I always find Bubble Buddies the hardest. Maybe it's because I'm having trouble with it now, but still. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. That honestly might be it. But no, going back to what you were saying about uh, Star Fox, like, I mean, when we're talking about like, because I remember uh, I'm pl planning on getting the SNES Classic just to get like the original Star Fox. Yeah. There's a lot of reasons why I want to get it, but yeah, that's one of the reasons. No, I'm going to go this way. I don't care. I don't care. No! We tank those. We tank everything. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I go for such a cool- Oh! Checkpoint! <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't matter though. It actually doesn't matter because like, you don't have the time there anymore. <laughs> oh, that's dumb. It's okay. like, oh, here's this checkpoint. <laughs> you have to restart it anyway. What the fuck? Alright, next time we're going to continue with the best level ever.